Hey everyone, I'm back with another five books. Uh, so my five favourites today um, for International Women's Day. Uh, I love International Women's Day. We're a bit late with this video just because we're trying to get back into the swing of YouTube again and I have an editor who also has a full-time job. <laughs> um, so I am recording this in my absolutely freezing cold conservatory so I'm probably going to speak quite quickly so I can try and get the awesome content. I've got five books here. Um, calling them five favourites is a bit of a stretch because I've read two of them. I'm halfway through one which is kind of a bit of a cheat and the other two are on my shelf and I'm very excited to read them. So um, if you don't know what International Women's Day is, it is a day celebrated in March to celebrate the achievements of women basically. Um, and to kind of raise awareness and work towards gender parity, which is just equality between men and women. So it's awesome. Um, and I love it. <laughs> and you can check out our blog and everything for other things we've done in past International Women's Days. Um, and so I'm just going to crack on quickly. Um, I've got four indies, one not. Or one cheaty. Okay, so first one great this is great this is one of the ones that i have loved and i read it again and again and i've talked about it before this is gloria steinem my life on the road gloria steinem is a legend <laughs> um if you i don't know if it's still on bbc iplayer but if you have bbc iplayer you should really watch um the series mrs america um which is all about um an she's like an anti-feminist um phyllis schlafly who i knew nothing about before the series but uh, gloria steinem is in it as are lots of other um kind of iconic figures of the feminist movement this is gloria steinem's autobiography um so it does cover everything kind of from her childhood all the way through to um all of her activism work um and her work in politics and um what she does now she travels around organizing things and speaking at places and generally being a legend <laughs> this is published by one world book so this is well and truly indie it is amazing i think i'm on my fifth reread of it now and it does not get uh worse it's just fantastic it's inspiring and amazing and she's just incredible so i love her gloria stein and my life on the road is my number one actual favorite recommendation <laughs> number two you probably also have heard me talk about because i have talked about it quite a bit and it is published by one of my favorite graphic novel publishers which is myriad editions this is sensible footwear a girl's guide by kate charlesworth um, and it is graphic novel and it is incredible. It's so it's beautifully drawn and it combines Kate Charlesworth's memoirs with the history of the LGBTQ plus movement in Britain. So it's really interesting, um, especially if you are a person who doesn't necessarily know much about that history, like me, I didn't, this educated me a lot. Um, and it's really beautiful, it's really well told, um, and it's a really unique combination of things. So um, she kind of draws parallels between her life and things that have happened in history, and it's just generally fantastic. Uh, yeah, as I said, this is published by Myri Myriad Editions, who also publish loads of other fantastic graphic novels, and especially graphic nonfiction. They're really, really good for graphic nonfiction. So, yeah, that is Sensible Footwear, A Girl's Guide, Kate Charlesworth. So that's the last of my actual favourites. Um, I will say, also, you can check out our Five Favourite Persephone Books video that uh, went up recently, and I've also uh, worked on a collaboration with Freebird, where I'm gonna be recommending my five um, women writers I love. So there's lots of lots of women-y things for you to explore if you wanna read more women. This video specifically, I wanted to focus on books that had more of a women's history kind of bent. So specifically for Women's History Month, which March is in the UK, um, to help us learn more about women and their amazing lives and the fantastic things they've done. Um, so I'm moving on to a book that you're probably going to, um, <laughs> I'm probably going to become an outcast for not having read this, but this is Virginia Woolf, A Room of One's Own. And this is the Oxford edition. I've owned this for a lot of years and I still haven't read it and I'm sorry. But this is um, Virginia Woolf's essay on women and creativity and what it takes to be a woman writer or creative woman. Um, and I will be reading it soon and I've heard amazing things about it and if you're a person who's read it um, Please don't hate me for not reading it. <laughs> That's Virginia Woolf, A Room of One's Own. I'm going to be reading that very very soon um, And then a fantastic Okay, I don't know if this book is fantastic, but I've heard good things and the person it's about was fantastic So this is The Life and Loves of E. Nesbitt and E. Nesbitt was one of my favourite children's authors I have a thing about children's authors from like 
the early 20th century kind of period. Um, and Inez Bit, if you don't know, is author of The Railway Children. Um, she's author of various other books, The Treasure Seekers, The Would Be Goods, Five Children and It, The Phoenix and the Carpet. She wrote a lot. Um, and I know nothing about her, except that she is buried in Kent somewhere. <laughs> I still haven't actually been to visit her grave. We always say we're going to go and we haven't. So maybe I will read this and maybe I will go and visit her grave when we're allowed to take unnecessary drives out to the countryside. Um, so yeah, this is published by Duckworth Books, who I, are a publisher I love. Um, they published some of our, one of our box books in the past and they publish loads of great stuff, loads of really eclectic things there. So yeah, this is one that I think is probably going to become a favourite. It's going to be very interesting definitely to read and find out more about her. It's The Life and Love of E. N Nesbitt by Eleanor Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons? Sorry. Terrible at pronouncing names. <laughs> okay, um, my last book for this video is a total cheat. So it's not actually published by an indie. Like I thought they were, and then I looked it up. Well, I sort of, I didn't really think they were because they're obviously a big company. I'm just gonna tell you who it is. <laughs> so this is really interesting. I got it from my library because Click and Collect is her thing again. Um, and it was recommended for Women's History Month. And it is In Her Footsteps, where trailblazing women changed the world. It's published by Lonely Planet, who you might know are like a prolific publisher of travel guides. They are owned by a big media company, so they're not indie. But this was amazing. I'm reading at the moment, which is I've got my finger on it because I've just taken my very, very makeshift bookmark out of it because it was a newspaper. So um, this is amazing. I've never read anything quite like it. It sort of takes the format of the Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls books, which I was going to include in this, but they're definitely not indie. Um, so it takes like all kinds of amazing women and it divides them into chapters so the chapter i'm on at the moment is activists which is chapter number one um but i think there's four chapters there's activists artists pathbreakers and icons and it literally tells you about the person and like where they lived and what they did um and it's amazing it's really interesting i've read like i've had it for like 20 minutes i've read that much already so yeah this is really interesting and i'd really recommend getting hold of a copy if you can because it's a great way to learn about all kinds of amazing women and also all kinds of trips you can take when we can take trips again. So it's a little bit of future planning and also brilliant women. So that's In Her Footsteps, um, where trailblazing women change the world. And it's published by Lonely Planet. So that's my five um, books about women's history. And I would love to hear your recommendations because it's a subject I'm really, really interested in. I love memoir. I love well-written history books. I've also got Hidden Figures upstairs, um, which is not indie, but I'm, I loved the movie. So I'm excited to read that book as well. I've got quite a lot of books about women's history, but I'd love to hear your recommendations. So please do leave them in the comments. And as always, please do subscribe, share this video everywhere um, and share me links to your videos with recommendations of, of women's history books. And I will leave the links to our other video about Persephone books and the women writers I love in the description. And I will see you next time.